Welcome to Heek Suit Dragon. Here be dragons. So, tomorrow, Tuesday, December 13th at 10 a.m. Eastern, the National Ignition Facility is going to announce a major scientific breakthrough. This breakthrough will be the announcement that the first fusion reaction to have created a net energy gain has been completed. So, why is this such a big deal? First of all, I want to make sure that everyone knows this is not related to cold fusion which is an impossible technology erroneously created a few decades ago that promised nuclear fusion at room temperature. This wasn't viable, nor will it ever be viable, as heat is one of the absolute requirements for nuclear fusion. I'm talking about actual real nuclear fusion, where two light atoms are combined under intense heat and pressure to create a single much heavier atom. Unfortunately, not every piece of the atom is used, and like an IKEA dresser, many little bits moving very quickly, such as neutrons, are left over. These are then converted into energy through collisions. And this energy creates a lot of heat, which can be used to run a generator. In any reactor, fission or fusion, the heat generated is used to turn water into steam, which drives a turbine on a generator, making electricity. However, some fusion reactors are playing around with converting the magnetic fields created during fusion directly into electricity, which will would allow for much smaller and easier to run reactors. But these are still in the infancy, and the biggest hurdle in fusion reaction wasn't crossed until just now. Regardless of your method of generating electricity, you need a lot of heat and pressure to start fusion in the first place. And this can be done in many different ways. Some examples include heating up the material to a plasma soup, then colliding the particles. It can also be done by crushing the fuel with a laser. And it can even be done at home using high voltage in a vacuum container to accelerate particles to high speeds through attraction to the electrical fields and hoping that some of them collide, creating high pressure and heat in the process, hence making fusion. In order to generate these environments, you need a lot of energy in the first place. This is the problem with fusion. It is really easy to do, and it's a lot easier than nuclear fusion. I mean, middle school students routinely create Farnsworth fusers for science fairs. What has been out of reach until just now is creating enough energy from the fusion reaction to also replenish the energy needed to create and maintain the reaction in the first place, while also producing extra energy that can then be used to power things. Prior breakthroughs have been made in regards to reactors running times and reducing the power required to start a reaction, but no one has ever created more energy than was needed to start the reaction in the first place. So this is a very, very big breakthrough indeed, and it was one of the required breakthroughs for fusion to keep moving on and to become a reality. We will have to wait about 20 hour, 24 hours for the actual details, but hopefully this should have given you a better idea as to why this is such a big moment in history. Anyways, have a great day.